Hi traders, I want to talk through the trend locking and filters module within the V2.5 release. There's quite a lot to this module. So what we can see here is trend locking. There are three modes here. You can lock to trend, which we are now. You can lock short, you can lock long. Locking short clearly means you'd be only trading when price uh, when uh, the spread touches or moves above the upper trigger level that's depending on our entry method of course and locking long is the opposite so you'd be looking to basically only take long pair one short pair two trades when the spread you know touched or closed below the lower trigger level so that's the locking options if you if the trend locking is set to trend what the system will do is examine the trend filters which are set in the STD indicator. So if we go to the STD indicator and look at the external inputs, down at the bottom here you'll see there are eight filters running from M5 all the way through to M4320 which is monthly. So what we can these are all Boolean, so we can set these either true or false. At the moment we've set M15, M30, and M60 to true. Notice what happens if I change um, M60 to false. All that happens is the actual data label goes back to the system data color. So the significance of this is what we're doing is we're saying we want to lock to trend and we want to analyze trend over the M15, M30, and M60 timeframes. And we're going to base our trades on an M5 chart, and we will only take trades in the direction of the trend defined by the M15, M30, and H1 timeframes, which are all highlighted. And down in the STD indicator down here, we can see the trend has been identified as falling. So in the event that the spread touches or breaks above the upper trigger level we'll be looking to go short pair one long pair two in this case because the trend is falling so it will try the system will try and lock to that trend by the way if anybody is wondering why this system why this trade hasn't triggered new arbitrage position open it just has the reason why it was hesitating is because if you look up here the reversion potential is negative and we have a parameter in the external inputs within the V2.5 um, arbitrage engine called trade only positive potential, and that was set to true. So we just notice the channel value is six dollars ninety, and the spread cost is six dollars eighty four. So we needed the spread to just spike above that upper trigger level before we saw any uh, opportunity to trade, and that's why the trade hesitated. But then we got a little spike and then it entered. So if we look at, well, we're kind of inside our spread now. Our spread cost is six dollars eighty-four. Actually, we're on six eighty-four at the moment. I'm just oscillating around. So assuming the trend stays intact and the spread continues to fall, we would expect to get a mean reversion. What we can do though, as there isn't much bacon in this trade, we can set our Reversion to MA parameter to false, which will look to exit when the spread touches the lower trigger level, and that's given us a little bit more reversion potential. Um, not much, but a little bit. So, obviously, we're trading on very short time frames here, so um, you're not going to see an awful lot of opportunity. But anyway, that's the trend locking and filter system discussed.